We're back on the air. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm the host of Radio Entrepreneurs, and uh, I want to thank all our listeners who keep connecting with the show. And uh, I'm lucky today. Uh, I have my uh, my favorite groupie to my left, uh, my co-host for the day, Peter Morrison from the esteemed law firm of Cohn, Rasnick, Morrison, and Plout. And well, you and you know how much I like being here, Jeff. I know. It's always great. It's a great experience. It's great having you here, not feeling, Peter. I think it's, uh, it's I, I, I win on two fronts. But our next guest, uh, who I know you're going to like, is Roger Samets from Samets Blackstone Associates. Welcome. Thanks for having me back. Good. Uh, before we get into the, uh, the interview, I know you've been here before. Uh, can you just give us a little, uh, your elevator speech, speech on the company? We're a uh, brand strategy, digital media, design, and content development firm that largely is around to help both profits and nonprofits define and articulate and then promulgate who they are right. to build connections and resonance so they can accomplish their goals. Interesting. And are there particular types of companies that you prefer to work with? Well, we're sort of in five um, business areas. We're pretty well known in academia and in cultural spheres, in financial services and professional services, and in life sciences. Oh. Nice. Are there uh, is that are there particulars that make those industries unique to work with? Um, we're in a fortunate position of being able to work with people um, who we believe can make a difference, and then who we believe we can make a difference for. So to take nothing away from the people who make screws for a living, um, we tend to work with organizations that have some positive impact out there. For years, we've had sort of three criteria for the work that we. Choose to embark on in this sort of strategic, creative, and financial. How long have you been around? Um, we're in our 37th year. So you've got some serious traction in this space. Well, we've had some clients like Harvard Medical School for actually slightly more than 37 years because before I founded the firm, I worked for them. What was your background before that? Um, well, I've always sort of been doing this. I have a, a BA and an MFA from Yale. Um, but it was clear with my design degree that if you didn't add programming and message development, you were just making a different kind of uh, pictures for people. So we, we started in on the kind of brand strategy side of things before there were words for that. So do you have to work with your companies to help them on their elevator spe speech? Yes. I mean, we often work on elevator speeches. Um, they are most often in the context of developing a wider messaging framework. So an elevator speech sits sort of on top of a, of a structure of additional messages that you also need. We can talk about that if you like. Definitely. Okay, so you know, an elevator speech, everybody wants one. Um, and, and there's a good reason for it, and, and kind of it's been around a long time, the notion from when elevators went up fewer floors. Um, because it represents a distillation of what an organization is. You know, I, ideally a good one is, you know, who you are, for whom, what do you do, and why should anybody give a damn? Um, and they serve both internal and external purposes. So, you know, externally, which is probably what most people sort of associate, if you're in an elevator with somebody and someone asks you what you do or who you work for, you're able to actually articulate that and not sort of fumble around with the elevator buttons. Right. But internally, they're equally important because, and we know, and you probably know because you interview a lot of people, um, organizations, Within organizations, people will describe that organization very differently. So that, that does not lend itself to getting an informed core of ambassadors out there if everybody you talk to within an organization has a slightly different tilt. Not because they're talking to somebody different, but just because they have a different notion and because there's been no consistent notion promulgated across the organization. If somebody wants to find you at Samets Blackstone Associates, what's his email? Well, um, Email works. It's roger at samets.com, <coughs> and the website is samets.com. 